What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video I'm gonna be bringing you a benchmark comparison in terms of performance between these tablets. On the left hand side we have the 2013 Nexus 7. In the middle here we have the brand new iPad mini with Retina display, the second generation. And then on the right hand side we have the first generation iPad mini. Now let's get these tests underway so we can actually see which one of these has the highest potential in terms of performance. Now obviously these benchmarks don't necessarily tell us the actual real life performance of these tablets but they do go a long way towards telling us exactly what their full potential is. Now first up we're going to be running Geekbench 3 on all of these to get the CPU performance and then next we're going to be running GFX Bench to see the graphics performance. Now let's let the results come in and I'll be back with you in just a second. And here we are and the results are in and I can tell you that the new generation iPad mini with retina display, the one in the middle, finished significantly before the other two and then the Nexus 7 and then the previous generation iPad mini and if we actually look at the results they also tell a familiar story. Now first up let's take a look at the brand new iPad mini with retina display and that comes in at nearly 1400 on the single core score and 2500 on the multi-core score. If we then compare that to the older version of that, the first generation iPad mini, we come in at 263 on the single and 500 on the multi-core score. So the new iPad mini with retina display is literally about five times faster than the previous generation. Now let's compare that to the Nexus 7, which on the multi-core score does very, very well considering the price and also the fact this is a few months older than the new iPad mini. Comes in at a very respectable 2000 on the multi-core score with 630 on the single core score. Now, next up is the graphics benchmark and we'll just set those off and I'll bring you the results in just a minute. Just while this part of the graphics bench is actually running, you can see just how many dropped frames there are on the previous generation iPad mini compared to the new generation where it's absolutely smooth as butter. And here we are and the results are in. So let's start off with the Nexus 7. We'll just go through a couple of the results here. So the first graphics bench test came in at 884 frames, 16 frames per second. If we compare that to the new iPad mini with retina display, that comes in at 1500 frames with almost 30 frames per second, so almost double there. But then if we come along to the iPad mini first generation, it only manages 193 frames. That comes in at 3.4 frames per second. And if you go down the results, it tells a familiar story all the way through. So, some pretty interesting results there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and I will see you in the next video. See ya.